I'm Hannah and I work for a human-centered design company called Belvista Studios. I'm going to be showing you today human-centered design for healthcare activities. So there are 10 activities that you can undertake as a healthcare service. Applying human-centered design to your healthcare service will enable you to empathize with your patients, understand their needs and expectations, understand how they experience your service, and better create a service that aligns with them and gives them what they want. So applying human-centered design for the healthcare industry, oh, it's just going to be incredible. And I'm so grateful that you're watching this video because it means that you are passionate about healthcare. You want to make a difference to your patients' lives and you want them to experience your service in the best possible ultimate way that they can. And I love that about you. So thank you for watching this video. You can get the 10 activities with instructions by checking out the link below. So before I get started, check out the link below. You can get the activities and apply it to your service. What I'm going to be talking about in this video is the patient persona. So I'm going to give you some insights on how you can create a patient persona for your healthcare service. So what is a persona? Well, a persona is a way to humanize your customer. So it brings together everything you know about your customer, which is potentially your patient, all together into one place and helps you to better understand them and empathize with them. So what you'll want to do is, is you'll want to record details about your typical or most common patient. So you would record their name, which an example could be Ron, their age, potentially he'd be around 60 years old, his expectations. So an expectation could be that he wants to be seen on time, his goals. So why is he going to your service? What does he want to get out of it? And then also his challenges. So are there any challenges surrounding him attending your service? And something as simple as he needs to get to the bus stop on time so he doesn't want the appointment going over time or being seen late or he'll miss his bus. So that could be a challenge that he is facing. And just considering all of those things will help you to humanize your customer and bring it together into one place, one document, whatever you want to record that persona into. And then once you have that persona created, you want to put it somewhere visible. So it could be at your desk. It could be somewhere in your healthcare practice, just somewhere where people can look at that persona and always remember the person that they're serving. So any decisions that they make, anything that they do in their role at your service, they're looking at that persona and remembering I'm serving a real human being here. What can I do that's going to be best for them in this situation? So I hope that added value to you for how you can create your patient persona. If you want the 10 activities with instructions, check out the link below. The patient persona is just one of those activities, but there are nine other activities that we believe can add value to your service and will help you apply human centered design. So thank you so much for listening. Thanks for wanting to improve your service and improve healthcare overall. I think that's amazing. And thanks for tuning in.